Thanks, Tamara. Outrage over the acquittal of two officers in connection with the death of a homeless man in Southern California has gotten even more intense as one of the officers now is trying to get his old job back. Last week, Officer Manuel Ramos and Corporal Jay Cicinelli were found not guilty in the death of 37-year-old Kelly Thomas, who is mentally ill and homeless. Cell phone and surveillance video captured a violent struggle between Thomas and six police officers at a transit station in Fullerton on July 5th, 2011. Kelly died five days later. Defense attorneys argued Thomas was combative and ignored the officer's orders. A day after their acquittal, Cicinelli's attorney said he would begin the process of trying to regain the post he lost. After residents took to the streets to protest the verdict this weekend, people packed Fullerton City Hall Tuesday night to speak out against the reinstatement. Now, the police chief has already said he would not allow the officers back, but the decision ultimately lies with the city council. And if they don't accept him, he can still take it up with higher courts. Kelly's father, Ron Thomas, was also at the meeting Tuesday night. He joins me now for his time. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for your time. And obviously, we want to express our condolences to your family for the loss of your son. Um, I know you don't want this officer to get his job back, but, but what can you say to the city council at this point that wasn't revealed in court and, and what you and, and the many supporters have said? Well, Jay Cincinnelli uh, was out of the police academy for the Los Angeles Police Department only two weeks when uh, he w encountered uh, a real bad guy who shot him um, several times including in the face he lost his left eye mm. as that turned out uh, the LAPD uh, would no longer allow him to be a police officer and he's been collecting a pension uh, for the last 10 years and he will for the rest of his life because he was unable to perform his duties as a police officer as a favor to uh, the LAPD, they called the chief at the time, uh, Pat Sellers, who was former LAPD. Uh, he was the chief of Fullerton to bring this guy on into Fullerton, and they hired him. Mm -hmm. The same officer who could not perform his duties in the LAPD, Fullerton hired. He's the one who uh, wants his job back. He's the one that beat Kelly repeatedly in the face with the taser and said he had no other options but to beat his face to hell. Uh, no, I don't want him to get his job back. Uh, nobody wants him to get his job back. Um, you talk about your son, and, and obviously much of the focus um, has been on those two officers. But in court, I gotta get your thoughts when you have attorneys who are saying that your your son was not harmless and helpless, um, and, and portrayed him in a far different way than what you've said and, and what many know they saw at that scene that day. Well, that's true. I mean, you know, Kelly was a, a really good guy, uh, loved to laugh, have fun. And as the video clearly showed, he wasn't bothering anybody. But they went back in his past. He had some altercations in his life uh, over the last 18 years. And they portrayed him as a, this horrible, uh, drug-crazed uh, maniac that was out there, you know, to beat up the police. When well, the true evidence, the only evidence, about any drug use in Kelly's past or drug tests that he took over 18 years and every single one of them come back negative and that wasn't allowed in court. So the defense attorneys took that and uh, they ran with it. The, the fact that Kelly actually mm -hmm. stated to a psychologist 18 years ago that he had tried meth 18 years ago. He said he tried in the 10th grade. So they ran with it made him out to be this drug craze uh, uh, maniac, and it just wasn't the case at all. Mm -hmm. But again, um, they couldn't bring up anything in the officer's past, only in Kelly's. Therefore, I feel my son did not get a fair trial mm -hmm. as a, a victim. Mm -hmm. Well, I know, as we mentioned, this is in the hands of the city council, and uh, if they don't take this up, um, they can go to a higher court. Uh, the police uh, chief has already made his stance and will continue to follow uh, this development. But I want to thank you again for making time for us, and our thoughts are with you and your family. We really appreciate it, sir. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be right back.